Hey chosen ones, you ever notice how some people do you wrong and then try to flip the script making themselves look like the victim? Yeah, it's a classic move. But guess what? God sees it all. And today we're diving deep into this topic to give you some clarity and reassurance. Let's get started. You've got a light they can't handle. When you walk through life as a chosen one, your energy carries a certain radiance that not everyone can handle. You shine in ways that might not even be fully visible to you, but others see it, and it affects them deeply. Some people are naturally drawn to your light. They appreciate your kindness, wisdom, and the peace you carry. But for others, that same light becomes intimidating. It stirs something inside them that they can't quite explain. Maybe it brings their own insecurities to the surface, or it reminds them of what they lack or what they haven't achieved. Instead of celebrating your glow, they feel threatened by it. When someone feels threatened by your energy, they might react in ways that are unfair and hurtful. They may gossip about you, try to undermine your success, or even attempt to exclude you from things. And when you rightfully stand your ground or call out their behavior, they often flip the narrative. Suddenly, they're the ones playing the victim, acting as though you've done something wrong, when in reality it's their discomfort with your light that started the whole issue. This can be incredibly frustrating, but don't let it get to you. Remember that their reaction is a reflection of their own internal struggles, not of your worth. God knows your heart. He sees your pure intentions and the goodness you carry. And just as he sees you, he also sees those who try to dim your light. You don't have to worry about defending yourself because God is your ultimate witness. Let your light continue to shine regardless of how others may feel about it. Their insecurities are at play. Sometimes when people treat you poorly, it has little to do with you and everything to do with their own insecurities. You see, when someone feels inadequate or unsure about themselves, they often try to mask those feelings by projecting them onto others. As a chosen one, you might find yourself in situations where people seem to resent your progress or success. It's not that you've done something wrong. It's simply that your growth and confidence highlight the areas where they feel they're lacking. When you start to rise, whether in your personal, spiritual, or professional life, it can cause others to feel like they're being left behind. Instead of looking inward and working on their own challenges, they often find it easier to tear you down. This could manifest as backhanded compliments, sabotaging your efforts or even outright hostility. Their goal is to make you feel small so that they can feel bigger. But it's important to remember that this isn't a reflection of your worth, but rather a reflection of their inner turmoil. What makes things even more complicated is how they often twist the story afterward. After they've treated you unfairly or caused harm, they may flip the script to paint themselves as the victim. It's a classic case of deflection. They don't want to face their insecurities, so they try to make you look like the one at fault. This can be deeply frustrating and emotionally exhausting, but it's crucial that you don't let their narrative define you. Stay grounded in your truth. You know who you are and the path you're on. Don't get distracted by their attempts to bring you down. Remember, God sees everything. He knows their insecurities, their pain, and he knows your strength and purity of heart. Let them deal with their own issues while you continue to rise above it all. They can't understand your purpose. As a chosen one, your life moves according to a higher purpose, a divine calling that not everyone around you will understand. And that's okay. It's not meant for them to grasp. Your path, filled with meaning and spiritual significance, often stands in contrast to the everyday concerns of others. You're on a journey that challenges the status quo, and this can stir discomfort in those who are not walking in alignment with their own purpose. When you start stepping into your calling, doing what you're meant to do, it often brings a mirror to others' lives. It reminds them of the things they've been neglecting, their own passions, dreams, or the inner work they've been avoiding. Instead of facing their own shortcomings, they might direct that discomfort at you. Criticism, gossip, or even attempts to sabotage your progress are ways they try to cope with the uneasy feeling your growth brings up in them. 
this reaction isn't always rooted in malice. It's often just a reflection of their confusion or fear about their own life's direction. But that doesn't make it any less painful when they turn on you. What's particularly difficult is when, after treating you poorly, they try to twist the narrative. Suddenly they claim you're the one who caused harm, or that your success somehow hurt them. It's frustrating because you know the truth. You were simply living your purpose. But here's the thing. God knows the truth too. He sees your intentions and understands why you're on this path. He knows that your journey might not make sense to everyone, but that doesn't diminish its importance. He also sees the struggles and pain that those around you are going through. Their discomfort with your purpose is their issue to deal with, not yours. Stay focused on your calling. Don't let their reactions deter you from what you're meant to do. Keep moving forward, trusting that God will guide you and He will handle everything else, including the misunderstandings and misjudgments of others. Manipulation is their weapon. Manipulation is one of the most common tactics people use when they can't stand your light or your purpose. When someone feels threatened by your strength, energy, or potential, they might resort to manipulating situations to make themselves look better and make you look like the bad guy. They'll take things you've said or done out of context, twist your words, and distort the facts until they've crafted a version of events that suits their narrative. It's a game of control. Control over how others see you, control over your emotions, and control over the way the story plays out. You might find yourself wondering how things got so out of hand or why people suddenly seem to believe a version of events that you know isn't true. It can be deeply frustrating when someone manipulates others into seeing you as the villain, especially when you know your intentions were pure. And the more they play the victim, the harder it becomes to defend yourself without falling into the trap of their manipulation. But here's the thing. Manipulation only works for so long. While they may be able to twist the truth and play the victim for a while, God sees everything. He sees through every lie, every deceit, and every attempt to control the narrative. The truth, no matter how deeply buried, always has a way of coming to light. It's important to remember that when you encounter manipulation, you don't need to react by playing their game. Stay grounded in your truth. Let them twist things as much as they want. Eventually, the manipulation will unravel and the truth will be undeniable. God knows your heart and intentions, and he knows what's really happening behind the scenes. Trust that the truth will come to light in his time, and you won't have to fight this battle alone. The truth always prevails. Jealousy makes them act out. Jealousy can be a powerful and destructive emotion. Often, it causes people to act out in ways that seem completely out of character. You might not even realize that your success, happiness, or inner peace is triggering envy in someone else. But jealousy has a way of creeping in and twisting people's perspectives. They see your blessings, your growth, and your joy. And instead of being happy for you, they feel threatened or resentful. What's tricky about jealousy is that it's usually hidden beneath other behaviors. Someone might lash out at you, treat you unfairly, or suddenly start acting distant and you're left wondering what you did wrong. The truth is, you didn't do anything wrong. It's their own insecurities and feelings of inadequacy that are being stirred up by your light and success. The kicker is when, after all this, they try to turn the tables and act like you've done something to harm them. They may play the victim and shift the blame onto you, making it seem like you're the one who has caused the friction. It's easy to get caught up in their drama or feel guilty when this happens. But remember, their jealousy is not your responsibility. Jealousy is their battle, not yours. It comes from a place of lack, where they believe they don't have enough or aren't enough, and your success only amplifies that feeling. But you are not responsible for their feelings. You can't dim your light just to make them comfortable. God sees your heart. He knows that your blessings, success, and peace are the result of your hard work, faith, and humility. He also sees those who envy what he has given you, and he will handle them in his way and time. Your job is to keep walking in your purpose, staying humble and grateful, 
and letting God deal with the jealousy of others. God is keeping score. When you've been wronged, it's easy to feel frustrated, angry, or even tempted to take matters into your own hands. But here's the thing. God is keeping score. He sees everything that happens, both what's done openly and what's done behind closed doors. When people treat you unfairly, manipulate situations, or try to play the victim after hurting you, they may think they've won in the moment. But God is always watching, and nothing escapes His sight. Sometimes it may seem like the people who have wronged you are getting away with it, or that they're living their best life while you're left picking up the pieces. This can be discouraging, but don't let it shake your faith. God is not blind to their actions, nor is He unaware of the pain you've experienced. He's keeping track of both their behavior and your response to it. In those moments when you're tempted to lash out, seek revenge, or try to clear your name, remember that God's justice is far greater than anything you could orchestrate on your own. There's no need to exhaust yourself trying to prove your side of the story or make others see the truth. The truth always comes out even if it takes time. God will bring justice in His perfect timing. He knows your heart and your struggles, and He won't let the wrongs done to you go unanswered. Your job is to stay focused on your purpose, keep walking in faith, and trust that God will handle those who have mistreated you. Let go of the need for revenge or validation, and know that divine justice is always on the way, even if it's not immediate. Their guilt will eventually surface. When people do you wrong and then try to flip the narrative to make it seem like they're the ones who've been hurt, it can be incredibly frustrating. It may look like they're getting away with their actions, parading around as the victim while you're left to deal with the pain they caused. But here's the thing. Guilt is a powerful emotion, and it has a way of catching up with people, no matter how hard they try to suppress it. At first they may seem confident, even smug, as they convince themselves and others that they've done nothing wrong. They might build up walls of denial, creating stories in their heads that justify their actions. However, guilt is not something you can bury forever. It lingers in the back of the mind, slowly chipping away at the facade of innocence they've constructed. No matter how good someone is at lying to others, it's much harder to lie to themselves. And deep down they know the truth of what they did. As time passes, the weight of their guilt will begin to surface. It might show up as stress, anxiety, or even bitterness. They may start to distance themselves from you or avoid certain conversations because they know, on some level, they are in the wrong. Guilt often manifests in subtle ways. Sleepless nights, unexplained frustration, or an overall feeling of unease. These are all signs that the guilt is starting to eat away at them even if they never admit it to you or anyone else. Eventually, they'll reach a crossroads. They can either come clean, owning up to their mistakes and seeking forgiveness, or they can continue to live in their false narrative, doubling down on their victimhood. Some people choose the latter because it's easier to maintain the illusion than to face the consequences of their actions. But even if they never confess or make amends, the guilt will remain. It's like a shadow they can't escape, and over time it will only grow heavier. What's important to remember is that their guilt is not your burden to carry. You don't have to worry about whether they'll ever own up to what they did or try to fix things. That's between them and God. He knows the truth, even if they continue to deny it. Your role is to stay true to yourself and your path, knowing that you don't need their apology or validation to move forward. In the end, God's justice and truth will prevail. Whether they come clean or not, their guilt is their own, and it will eventually catch up with them. Your growth intimidates them. Your growth, whether it's spiritual, emotional, or material, can be intimidating to those around you who aren't evolving at the same pace. When you start to change, it shakes the people who have become comfortable with who you used to be. They see you becoming stronger, wiser, more grounded in your purpose, and instead of celebrating your journey, they feel threatened by it. It's not that they can't grow too, but they're often stuck in old habits, negative mindsets, or patterns they haven't yet faced. Your growth shines a light on their stagnation, and that can be a tough pill for them to swallow. 
Instead of using your progress as inspiration to work on themselves, some people will take the opposite route. They might try to sabotage your efforts or tear you down because your growth feels like a personal attack on their lack of progress. It's a defense mechanism. If they can keep you at their level, they don't have to face their own shortcomings. They'll make snide comments, create drama, or even outright try to block your path. And when you call them out on it, don't be surprised if they flip the script and try to play the victim. This kind of behavior can be confusing and hurtful, especially when it comes from people you once trusted or cared about. But here's the truth. Your growth is not the problem. Their inability to handle it is. They may act like your success or happiness is somehow hurting them, but in reality, it's their refusal to confront their own issues that's causing them pain. You can't control how others react to your evolution, and you certainly shouldn't stop growing just to make them comfortable. In fact, your growth is part of God's plan. He's elevating you for a reason, and He knows who belongs on this journey with you, and who doesn't. Sometimes, as you rise, certain people will naturally fall away, and that's okay. It can be hard to let go of relationships that no longer serve you, but trust that God is clearing your path for something greater. If someone can't celebrate your wins or respect your process, they aren't meant to stay in your life for the long haul. So keep growing. Don't dim your light or shrink yourself to fit into someone else's limited view of the world. The more you grow, the more aligned you'll become with your purpose, and the people who are meant to support you will find their way to you. As for those who can't handle it, they'll either have to confront their own fears and grow along with you or they'll fade into the background. Either way, you're on the right path, and God is guiding you every step of the way. Their victim act won't last. It can be incredibly frustrating when someone does you wrong and then has the audacity to play the victim. It seems like a twisted game where they try to turn the tables, making you look like the bad guy while they bask in sympathy. But here's the reality. This victim act has a shelf life. No one can maintain a facade forever. Eventually, the truth has a way of surfacing, and when it does, their true colors will be revealed. While it's tempting to confront them or expose their behavior, it's essential to remember that you don't need to waste your energy on that. Engaging in drama or trying to prove your point can pull you down to their level, which is the last thing you want. Instead, focus on your own path and the positive things you're working toward. God sees everything, including the injustices you've faced and the attempts to undermine you. He knows your heart and intentions, and He knows the truth about their actions. When you keep moving forward in faith, you create a powerful energy around you that no amount of victimhood can diminish. The more you grow in your purpose and your strength, the more the truth will shine through. Others will begin to see the inconsistencies in their story. People are perceptive, and they can usually sense when someone is putting on an act. Over time, those around you will recognize who has been genuine and who has been manipulative. The beauty of this situation is that you don't have to orchestrate the exposure of their deceit. God has His own way of bringing justice to light. It may not happen in your timing or in the way you expect, but trust that it will come. Sometimes people who play the victim become their own worst enemies as they continue to live in a lie. The weight of that false narrative can be heavy, and eventually, they will either have to confront their actions or find themselves isolated as others see through their charade. In the meantime, remain steadfast in your truth. Surround yourself with those who uplift you and support your journey. When you focus on your growth, your healing, and your purpose, you attract the right people into your life, those who celebrate you rather than try to drag you down. Their victim act may seem powerful now, but just remember, it won't last. The truth is a light that can't be extinguished and you are destined to shine brightly. You're protected by divine favor. As you navigate through the complexities of relationships and the challenges posed by those who wrong you, it's crucial to hold on to a profound truth. You are protected by divine favor. This divine shield is a powerful reminder that no matter how hard others may try to tear you down, undermine your happiness, or twist the narrative to fit their victimhood, they cannot thwart the plans that God has laid out for you. God is intimately aware of every tear you've shed, 
every moment of frustration and every injustice you've faced. He's been with you through the thick and thin, witnessing your struggles and celebrating your victories. This understanding fosters a sense of peace that comes from knowing you are not alone in your journey. It reassures you that their attempts to harm you are futile in the grand scheme of your life. Your destiny is not contingent upon the opinions or actions of others. It is safeguarded by a higher power. When you stand tall in the face of adversity, you embody the essence of resilience. The energy of divine favor acts as a protective barrier, deflecting negativity and ill intentions. It's like having a divine bodyguard, ensuring that you remain on your path and fulfilling your purpose despite the turbulence around you. Moreover, God's favor often manifests in unexpected ways. You may find new opportunities arising, supportive people entering your life, or sudden insights that help you overcome obstacles. While your detractors may wish for your downfall, God is actively working behind the scenes to ensure your success and growth. Their tricks, manipulation, or victim acts can never derail what God has ordained for you. So, as you move forward, let this knowledge empower you. Each time you encounter negativity or deceit, remind yourself that you are shielded by divine favor. This truth enables you to maintain your integrity and continue striving toward your goals without being swayed by the drama around you. Ultimately, God is in control, and His vision for your life far surpasses any temporary setbacks or challenges. Embrace your divine protection, trust in His plan, and watch as your life unfolds in beautiful and unexpected ways. Their Actions Reflect their character. When people do you wrong and then play the victim, it's a clear indication of their character. Their actions speak volumes about who they are, regardless of the narrative they try to spin. You may find yourself in situations where you're perplexed by their behavior, wondering how someone could treat you in such a way. But here's the truth. Their actions reflect their own inner turmoil, insecurities, and lack of accountability. It's easy to point fingers and blame others for personal shortcomings, but a truly evolved individual takes responsibility for their actions. When someone lashes out at you or tries to diminish your light, it's not a reflection of your worth. It's a glaring indicator of their inability to cope with their own emotions and challenges. They might project their frustrations onto you, attempting to make you feel inadequate or guilty for simply existing as your authentic self. Understanding this can be liberating. Instead of internalizing their hurtful behavior, you can shift your focus to compassion. Recognize that their actions are rooted in their unresolved issues and fears. This perspective allows you to respond with grace rather than resentment. You don't have to absorb their negativity. Instead, you can choose to rise above it. Moreover, remember that God is aware of their true character, even when it may not seem like it. He sees the hearts of everyone involved and knows who is genuinely striving for growth and who is simply playing games. While they may attempt to paint themselves as the victim, their true colors will inevitably surface. In the end, it's not your responsibility to change their narrative. It's your duty to maintain your integrity and let your character shine through, regardless of the chaos around you. Embrace your power and keep moving forward. As a chosen one, it's essential to embrace your power and recognize the strength that lies within you. Life will always have its challenges, and you might encounter people who attempt to undermine your spirit or play the victim. However, your journey is uniquely designed, and you have the resilience to rise above any negativity thrown your way. Understand that your energy is precious, and every time you choose to remain steadfast in your truth, you reinforce your position in the universe. Don't allow others to dictate your narrative or slow your progress. Surround yourself with positivity and those who uplift you. When you stand firm in your purpose, you inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of empowerment. It's vital to celebrate your victories, no matter how small, and honor the journey that has shaped you into who you are today. Remember, your path is not just about personal growth. It's also about guiding others through their struggles. As you share your experiences and wisdom, you become a beacon of hope for those navigating similar challenges. If you resonate with this message, 
we invite you to join our Balance Journey community. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to comment below, share your thoughts, and let us know how you've embraced your power. Like this video to spread the positivity, and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. Together, let's create a space where we uplift each other, share our journeys, and inspire transformation. Your voice matters, and we're excited to have you on this journey with us.